Oh wow, that's a crazy bro. You had a pretty rough time of it, didn't you? <laughs> it was all a dream! No, it was, it was an actual thing. Good! But now that Peach is safe, I guess everything's okay. Really though, how amazing is it that you saved the world again? Again, bro! And say, it's been a little while since then. Are you ready for a new adventure? Oh yeah. Yeah, you the man, bro. I wonder what everyone who travel with is up to. <clears throat> that was totally not a stumble. <laughs> Email. Email. Come on, there you go. Whoa, what was that, bro? Is that your newfangled mail gadget? <laughs> newfangled. <laughs> Near Mario, what's up? Goombella here. I'm still here working with Professor Frankly. We beat the Shadow Queen, but there's tons of rogue port lore we still don't get. So my research with the Professor goes on and on. You know what else goes on and on? The Energizer Rabbit. <laughs> with the info I gathered with you, we have lots of great leads now, though. Mario, like I always said, every myth contains a kernel of truth. Speaking of which, know what was in the chest that Professor recovered? You're totally not gonna believe me when I tell you. It's... A secret! <laughs> but I'll tell you next time I see you. Oh, I wanna know. As part of my research, I did go back to many of the places we visited. I saw everyone we traveled with, too. Koops, Koops is living peacefully in Petalburg with his dad and Koopy Koo. And Mario, guess what Koop wants to do now? He wants to become mayor of Petalburg and live there in peace, can you imagine? Still, might just be perfect for him, come to think of it. I mean, look at who he's going up against. I don't think that old fart even has eyeballs. <laughs> He's so much more of an adult now, that, now than when you left Rogueport. Still, I think Koopy Koo pretty much has him wrapped around her little finger. <laughs> if you know what I mean. <laughs> Flurry's back on stage in a big way and the crowds are totally ecstatic. And the play she's doing right now is the story of our adventure. Yeah. It's called Paper Mario. I saw it twice. It was totally the best play ever. <laughs> and somehow Dupless has joined the troupe as an actor. Who saw that coming? <laughs> His transformation skills are serving him well, but it still kind of creeps me out. I wonder why. <laughs> Oh, and little Rosanek. Lol. <laughs> That's what I mean, yeah. Yoshi. <laughs> He's fighting solo in the Glitz Pit. He says he's getting pretty close to a title match, even. Isn't that just adorable? Hey, 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 hey! I'm not adorable. Yes, you are. Shut up. <laughs> oh, yeah, he's calling himself the Great Gonzalez Jr. in the ring, by the way. <laughs> it's sort of silly, but kind of cute, too, don't you think? Oh, and wait, I have to get this exactly right. He'll get, like, so mad at me. He, uh, said that he could totally take you in the ring now, so bring it. Like, cha. <laughs> I guess he hasn't changed. Isn't that too cute? <laughs> Duke Nukem approves of cuteness. <laughs> you heard it here first. Vivian's gone back to hang out with her sisters. Family is important, after all. Now that the Shadow Queen has been defeated, I don't think Beldum's into evil. No, now she works at a dominatrix in a nightclub. <laughs> it's really weird. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I saw Bobbery in there a couple times. <laughs> don't ask what I was doing there. It's a long and very, very, very weird story. Maybe I'll tell you sometime. 
What was I talking about? Oh, Belda Melso promised me she would never be mean to Vivian ever again. Except an aforementioned nightclub, but that's that's only on Tuesday nights. And only if you get there before 8. Yep, I think the three sirens are going to live pretty peacefully from now on. But you should totally go visit her sometime. She'll give you a discount on a lap dance. <laughs> <laughs> My god. You. Tee. <laughs> Bob Marie goes out to see you every day now with Cortez. I think his soul is healed. Although I imagine Vivian probably helped a lot in that department. I ran into him on Kill Hall Key by accident the other day, which was actually kind of awkward. He knew I saw him, but we didn't actually interact while we were there. We kinda just looked at each other awkwardly and pretended nothing happened. Although seeing him again just completely out of nowhere kind of made things a little weird if you know what I mean. <laughs> he was... he was... He was so happy I thought he was gonna blow up on me for a second there. And wow, that takes on an entirely new meaning <laughs> given the context I've just given it. <laughs> he was just wiggling like crazy over there. <laughs> you know, I bet Scarlet is looking down on him and smiling right now, apparently. Right. <laughs> Oh, and I almost forgot, everyone on Keel Hall Key is well, and they say hello. Also, stop sending those weird emails. <laughs> That's what Twitter is for. Miss Mouse is still running the bad shop in Rogueport, so she's happy. Although now she also moonlights on Fridays on that club, you know? The whole gang actually goes there every now and then. It's a pretty crazy place, I tell you what. She comes over to Franklin's sometimes to visit, although every time she does, he always tells me to leave for some reason. Go do something for about an hour or two. Never really understood why. But as usual, as soon as she sets foot outside the shop, she turns into a badge ninja. Apparently you can pay extra for that. <laughs> she just said the other day that she had found some super rare badge, actually. That's our globe-trotting mystery-making, flirting little badge thief, huh? <laughs> the athleticism comes quite in handy, as you can imagine. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah! My travels, I heard a rumor that Lord Crump and Grotus were both still alive. Although they're both pretty bummed out, considering you you have to have at least a lower torso in order to get into that club. So Grotus is, well, he's kind of out of luck in that department. Plus, Crump is still really loyal and everything and won't go in without him. I don't know. I suspect that those two have a thing going on in secret. Just look at the way they banter. Why doesn't he just propose already? <laughs> They've mellowed a lot, just like Beldum has, and I don't expect more trouble. Plus, I heard Grotus is just ahead, which really cuts down on mischief making. My internet appears to be down for some reason. Good thing I wasn't using it. <laughs> Speaking of Miracle Survivors, guess whose favorite calculator is still computing? Oh my god! <laughs> he says he really wants to see you and Peach again. He was also missed Peach so much he googled her a few times, <laughs> although he came up with some very disturbing results and has some questions for you. <laughs> well, I'm totally rambling at this point, so I guess I'd better wrap it up.
I just want to say, even though things got tough, I'm grateful for our time together. And there is one thing that kind of weighed on me and I never got to express to you. See, I... Well, maybe that's best kept a secret. It's a fucking chicken dog. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> So please say hi to Peach for me, okay? Also, Tech wants to send more pictures. Your friend, Goombella. <laughs> hey, that's awesome, bro. Sounds like everyone's doing great over there. Huh? Someone here? Excuse me, sirs! Hello Mario, hello Luigi. Please allow me to apologize for coming unannounced, but... I was cleaning out the storeroom in the castle the other day, and... I found something rather amazing! Yes, Toad's worth found a treasure map! <laughs> and I'm sure it will lead to real treasure this time, I just know it! So Mario, you'd love to look for treasure, isn't that right? The boat's waiting for you! <laughs> this calls for a wah wah shrug. <laughs> like how you actually shrug like people can see you. Yeah. And that concludes Super Paper Mario. Uh, nope. Paper Mario, the thousand year door. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> so, yeah. So, final thoughts on the game. Did you enjoy it? Yes! How much did you enjoy it? A lot! <laughs> was it better, worse, or the same as the Wii version? Hmm. Well, not Wii version, but Wii game. Hmm. I think I liked them both equally. Indeed. They are both very, very good. I lean a little bit to more towards Super, though. But this, day, this game definitely has a lot going for I it. I haven't actually played Super Paper Mario myself, so I can't really say based on that. Yeah, true. But I've true. just watched you play it. Yeah. This game definitely has a lot going for it, but I find that the Wii one has a lot more humor to it. And yet still manages to be engaging. <laughs> Well, of course, this game doesn't take itself too seriously either. <laughs> despite how serious the themes actually are. Yeah. Uh, I love watching this little parade of F characters, because <laughs> it's every single character in the game. <laughs> That's awesome. Yep. I wonder when we'll get to see Bowser. Yeah! <laughs> uh, there's Flurry. Hi, Flurry! Hurry! Flurry, it's a peony! It's another peony! There's a whole bunch of peonies. Peony. Oh, there's Flurry. <laughs> uh, I remember seeing her for the first time. <laughs> yeah. That was just weird. That was. <laughs> I remember the look on your face. He was just like, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> Especially when you realize what that round protrusion was. Oh, yeah. It's a Super Bowser Brothers. Yay. <laughs> I wish I could find the music for, the, for those Bowser segments, because they're really good remixes, but they're hard to find. Yeah. I think I found them at one point, but no idea if I saved them anywhere or not. <laughs> oh well. Hey, it's Yoshi! Yay! <laughs> Yoshi! 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 What is happening? I do not know! Probably the same thing that always happens whenever we have a conversation ever. Try to take over the world. What? <laughs> what? That doesn't even make sense. I don't know. It's one of those giant bombs. Bulky bomb. Yeah, that. Yo. It's Bowser! Yeah, Bowser! I'm so happy! And Atomic Boo. Yay! He's just like, bye! 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 bye. It's a piggy! It is a piggy. <laughs> but I love you, piggy! I, I love you! you. Yeah. Jeez, that crow is just going nuts, isn't he? <laughs> He's just getting down with his bad self. Yeah. I'm, I have no idea what that thing right there in the middle is. It looks like some kind of thing wearing a... Oh, wait, that's dupless. <laughs> oh. 
Wow, I seriously never put that together before right now. <laughs> hey, Nate Bildorf. <laughs> Seriously though, every time I see Duplass's outline, I mean, it looks like his f his arm closest to the front. And it looks like it's a four-legged animal. It looks like or a four-legged animal yeah. in a party hat. Yeah, which <laughs> threw me off. I was thinking, I was like, wait a second. It totally threw me off, and it literally took me this long. <laughs> I mean, granted, I didn't exactly dwell on it, so that's kind of understandable. A little <laughs> bit, sort of, kind of, maybe ish. A little bit. Hey, Pennington and Smorg. Ah! God, Smorg was way too easy. Yeah. You can literally take it out and like. Three turns, maybe even two. It's pathetically easy. I know. I... And it was such a cool chapter and such a cool idea for a boss. <laughs> well, that's kind of true with all the bosses in this game. They're really they're cool ideas, but still pretty easy. I mean, although aside from that last one, that was actually pretty tough. That was ugh. tougher than I remember. Maybe it's just because I suck. Actually, I'm pretty sure it might have to do with, like, whenever I would go in there. I'm pretty sure I had all the party members upgraded. Uh, and I also had done the Pit of 100 Trials beforehand. Which, you I never go, did that. You go up, like, five or six levels in there, so... <laughs> yeah, that definitely helps. Of course, even just putting on the Feeling Fine badge would have made a big difference. Hey, it's Grotus with a nibbler chewing on his butt. <laughs> and, of course, Bowser Squish. <laughs> and it's Mario and the Peach. Yay. And of course, Shadow Queen. <laughs> Shigeru Miyamoto and Sotoro Iwata. <laughs> and it's Megan the Pizza Pie. I'm Italian. <laughs> Except I'm really not. <laughs> and neither are Mario and Luigi, but who cares, really? <laughs> the end. Yay. Thank you so much for playing my game. <laughs> Alright. Alright. Do, do I gotta press a button do, now? Do, do, do. Well, I guess we should probably say goodbye to the audience. Alright. So, internet, thank you very much for watching. Yes. I am Razanic7. And I am Durgan. And we will see you in whatever the hell the next video is. Yeah! Bye! Bye! Don't even think about doing that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>